And we start, oddly enough, with the Renault Espace, one of the least sporty cars ever made. But it was one of the most important. Like the Ford Model T, the Espace was one of the great seismic shifts in the history of the car. Today, people carry a cell in their millions and they're slowly killing off the hatchback and the saloon. And in Europe, it all began 20 years ago with this car. The upholstery may have been ugly, the car may have been ugly, but its lack of boot and bonnet and its flexible seating was a complete revolution. And you can tell this car was a revolution. Because when it hit the showrooms in 1984, no-one got it. At first, Renault were confident. In fact, one of the creators called the Espace the silk underpants car because he believed it would make everyone involved rich enough to afford posh undercrackers. But when the early sales figures came in, their underpants were, in fact, brown. Because in its first month, the Espace racked up worldwide sales of nine. That's it. Nine. But the rest is history, and today the world is full of people carriers, and this car is an icon. 